Hey guys, welcome back to another weekly recipe here on my channel. Today I am going to be showing you how I make my menudo. This is Mexican tripe soup, so if you'd like to learn, please keep on watching. Let's get started. First, we're going to go ahead and cut our pancita de res. I like to cut mine while it's frozen. I feel like it is so much easier to do the layering of the meat. And once that is done, I basically go ahead and put it all inside of our big pot, a.k.a. La Olla Mexicana, who doesn't have this huge olla in their house? <laughs> and we are gonna fill that up with a good amount of water, depending on how much meat you use. You will go ahead and use more water, vice versa, less meat, less water. But you wanna make sure that you have just about enough. Add one full onion, salt, and fresh oregano, and we will let this cook for two to three hours. Next, we are gonna go ahead and devein our chile guajillo and chile pasilla. This is what we will be using to make the salsa that will give the menudo its color. We will go ahead and boil our chile guajillo and chile pasilla. You wanna use a good bunch. For this specific recipe, I am doing about 15 pounds of menudo. It sounds like a lot, but the meat does shrink down, so this is a perfect ratio for it. If you're using less meat, then you obviously wanna cut down on the ratios. For that amount of meat, we're gonna use about una cabeza y media de ajos. We will go ahead and blend this up, get our sauce ready. Once that is all done, we're gonna go ahead and set to the side. We will check up on the menudo, give it a good stir. This is how it should look like. It smells delicious. If you don't wanna add the sauce, you can actually just eat the menudo like this. Some people eat the menudo like this, or some people add grano. There's so many different ways to cook this, but I'm showing you my way. And at this point, we are gonna go ahead and get ready to add the salsa roja. You wanna make sure that you strain it. Bear with me, your girl was struggling. I could not find my good strainer, so this is why I'm using this one. But basically, you wanna strain it to avoid it getting any seeds or thicker pieces from the chile guajillo and the chile pasilla. Here I am using the spoon to help me press down the sauce. Quick tip, if you want to add more sauce or you feel like it's still not red enough, you can always run some water over it over the dryness of the remaining part that's on the strainer and it will still give it more color and flavor. Next, we're gonna go ahead and grab a spoon or you can use the same strainer as you see here and we're gonna remove any excess oil so that the soup is not so oily. This will help a lot. And we're basically all done, guys. This is how the menudo should look. It is really, really good. I know some people don't like it. Personally, this is one of my favorite Mexican dishes. And it goes super well with gorditas, quesadillas, tortillas hechas a mano. Super bomb. I feel like a menudo tastes so much more authentic when you have fresh tortillas or gorditas to pair it up with. This is my grandma getting down, making some gorditas a mano. Look at that beauty. And yeah, there you guys have it. Make sure to pair it up with some café de olla. And that is how you get yourself a delicious menudo. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye, my loves.